are now tuned in to one of the only uh, shows in virtual wrestling ma that matter. My name is Jason Titus, joined in by my best friend and co-commentator, Jordan Collins. That is right, I am back on the commentary. I know I was taking a step back from the commentary, but this is an important night tonight, isn't it, Jason? Yes, it is, yes, it is. We got uh, a select, we have had our selections all drawn out. Now we are picking our qualifier for the Ascension to Gold match. That is right. So we have both men's and women's men. and also in our main events we will see the mystery entrance. But like we did say before, me and Jason know who these entrants are. Yes, we do, and it's gonna but... be some great it's gonna be exciting, but we're gonna get straight into it. Now this is the one that you picked. Uh yeah, the one that I picked was uh uh the uh, one I picked uh, definitely I think will be interesting. But right now we got LOL on the way. Uh, LOL, he's compared in Ascension to Gold before. Didn't win, but, you know, I guess he has the most experience heading into the match. Uh, last year's winner was Kushida, which was a, quite a shocker to a lot of people. So uh, with that being said, I think LOL has a high chance of possibly winning if he can get past his opponent tonight. You definitely can. And again, we know what this, the, the Ascension to Go does for superstars. And like you did say, excuse me, um, Kashida is a perfect example. He came in as kind of, you know, an underdog. Nobody really knew who he was. And he cashes in and he is the, well, what was then the JCPW World Champion. He held that for quite a while as well. And, um, you know, this, that, that is the, the beauty of this match is how it can change a person's career, how it can change a person's career directive in one match. But he's got a tough task ahead of him. A really tough task ahead of him. Right, right. Because he's going against this man, Tom Doyle. Tom Doyle, Tom Doyle. ROV, the RO current ROV champion still, though he did lose the NXW world title, which was a shock for me. Uh, I kind of do question his personal health heading into this match. Uh, we all know uh, recently at NXW's uh, big show, Ruthless Retaliation, he went through hell and back in, in that match where he lost the our NXW Championship. He, he suffered through some major injuries. Uh, I think that actually right now, LOL is coming in, the fresher man. But uh, Tom Dole seems to be maintaining his composure, keeping his cool. He is yeah. the ultimate. He is the ultimate professional. Although Tom Dole's been around for quite some time. You know, he's not going to let an injury or you know lack of something take an opportunity away from him. Because he said it for so long. He wants the title back here. Like he said when he he was he, he was one of our first ever world champions here. When we, again when we were JCPW, and he said constantly that this is his home. This is the title that he wants, this is the belt he wants back. And, um, you know, this is the opportunity to do it. But, you know, LOL's, LOL last match, he had a great match against James Black for that TV title. And, um, you know, it's, it's gonna be interesting, but here we go, strength and oh, Good kick all the way. Right now, Tom Doyle seems to be taking huge advantage of LOL. Just kicking him down while he's down. Uh, again, LOL, but LOL fighting back, okay. A nice little surprise there. I'm going to t t state this. Uh, while I do think that Tom Doyle is a better professional wrestler overall, LOL is no slouch. You know, oh, himself. definitely not. No, he's yeah, going to be looking for that beautiful frog splash, that beautiful game over frog splash that he has to use. You know, but mm -hmm. his, the task is he's got to get Tom Doyle on the ground. And, you know... I, I've known Tom Doyle for quite some time. He's a hard man to keep down. Yeah, Tom Doyle definitely. I, I, if you've seen him, ROX, uh, I mean not ROX, ROV, uh, NXW, especially at Re Ruthless Retaliation, you can see just how tough of a motherfucker this guy is, but it seems as though LOL has some, oh, this is the Enziguri, a little bit of a, a little bit of an oversight right there with that kick, but right now, Tom Doyle tosses him into the rope, Tom then Doyle picks him back up, oh, that he dropped. The thing is that Tom Doyle's got the extra advantage, he's got Yana Doyle on the outside. You know, he's got his other half on the outside, you know, and it's a, again, a, a successful champion in her right as well. 
And um, you know, as you see Tom Dyna with that rear with that sleeper hold, the rear naked choke. Yeah, so some, what, uh, what has LOL got to do? What has LOL got to do? Uh right now, uh Tom Doyle, I wanna say Tom Doyle did mention on his Twitter that his head was kind of the uh you know, he may he well uh, NXW I, I should say pointed out that Tom Doyle kind of suffered through a uh, pretty major head injury at uh, Ruthless Retaliation. So I think head attacks just like that right there are probably much the prime thing you should be focusing on. See exactly oh. right there, that X Factor targeting the head, keeping him down, uh, definitely using his light and speed advantage to his event, to, um, to uh, his uh, benefit, exactly. yeah, to his benefit but, yeah, right there. But it's quite funny. I'm quite, I'm quite shocked. He usually uses that move as a setup into that fog splash, but but he did not think he had Tom Doyle beaten enough to go for it. But look at Tom Doyle now is making his comeback. Yeah, Tom Doyle. Oh he's boy. Gonna he's gonna go for the J. He's gonna go for D Driller. There it is, D Driller. Oh, that's it. He's dead. Is that Catch going to one, be enough? One, two, two, three. three. There yeah. you do. Tom Doyle winning that one. Qualifies. He's the first quali qualifier for the Ascension to Gold match. I gotta be honest. I, 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 I gotta imagine, Jason, you are quite unhappy just due to the fact who he's representing here in Phoenix, bro. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. DK4 member, or uh, still ROV champion. Uh, you know. Tom Doyle, I do think, I will say this, I do worry about his health, uh, as the Ascension to Gold is a pretty hellacious match, you know, ladders are going everywhere, opponents are willing to throw you off those things, there's a complete clean disregard for human life when it comes to that case, but I think Tom Doyle's willing to play into the, um, any type of ruthlessness, any type of, of bad badassery he needs to in order to get that ascension to gold case. Yeah, but the thing is that it does become a point in a wrestler's career where he's doing too much. Has Doyle come to that position in his career or does he still have a little bit left in his in the in the in the tank? That is that's the question. Uh I don't think that's really one for me personally to be able to uh, answer, but I will state that I do think that Tom Doyle uh He's capable. He's capable of. Uh, he's capable of what he's on um, doing currently. But well, uh, we're going to get into our next match. Uh, I think we are going into the women's, and that is right. It is the women's part, first women's qualification. We have the former champion Lazara being followed by Finkel Goldman. Now, Jason, you're not a fan of Finkel, are you? Uh, I. I guess I respect the fact that he's able to bring in his group, uh, but uh, Finkel hasn't really been on my good side. You know, beat the whole BK4 thing, uh, the whole rivalry he's had with one of my friends. Yeah, he's not not my not in the top of my favorite list, but uh, I can respect the man and what he's accomplished. Definitely is, but here we go. He's managed to bring a group of get you know, the team as we have some success. But here comes one of our newest members. Here it is Hannah Grace. You know, well, Hannah's not necessarily new. She's uh, she's been here since uh, JCPW, but she definitely uh, has not quite reached that high point right now in her career. You know, she's been mostly uh, her highest point have been in the Heartbreaker tournament back in JCPW. But right now, she's uh, kind of tasked with a major uh, opponent right now, the former JTPW Women's Champion, the longest reigning one, I believe, too, uh, in yeah, Nevada. And, uh, yeah, and a student of, you know, a veteran here, a student of Vince Lawrence. And, you know, we, we see a lot of Vince Lawrence's influences on what we see from Hannah Grace. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an interest. It's going to be, because obviously we'll see Vincent Lawrence a little bit later on in the evening but can we do so i'm going to put you on the spot right now who's walking away the winner for this one uh was our oh gee, that's exactly why i'm saying that was has just been a dominant women's champion oh god uh she's turning out the best she's beaten uh mercedes who is no flag to her own right uh you know just was just 
has every advantage that Anna Grace has shown that she cannot handle. We've got to see Hannah Grace now in control, but back and forth. Commentator's curse right there. there. It is a commentator's curse. A bit of a, bit of a back and forth, you're trying to feed each other up. Looks like Lazara, they say, is now kind of in control. Ooh, Ooh. nice with this. Big kick to the face there. Going to the top. Oh, the Wait, elbow. No. One, two. Oh, no. No, no, no. Anna Grace getting back up to her feet. Lazara is in disbelief. It seems as though ha Lazara still has a little bit left in her. Oh, boy. What a back body drop right there. Back body drop for everybody seems to be on the show. There you go. Seems as well. thing is obviously La Lazara does have that strength advantage with the key crush of it, yeah, but not Hannah Grace. Not phased by that falls up with the big falls. Lazara up there with that beautiful uh, German suplex there. Oh Obvious thing shots in. Oh, Ooh, what a backbreaker! I don't normally see her pull that one out. But, oh, now she's firing up, trying to let. Lazara no, she will not be pushed aside. She will not be taken down. One, two, not even a two count. Jesus. Here we go. Oh wait, Anna Grace. Kicking her off. Ooh, oh, from no. Lazara kicking straight up there. I mean, they, they, they oh, can't wait. predict this one. But see Hannah Grace reverse a lot uh -oh. with Lazara. Oh. Oh, lethal injection. Lovely move there from Lazara. A bit of a new one there. Yeah, I don't know what hit there. Yep, one, two. Oh no. Lazara still is not able to get the win though. I have to say, this is a good performance from Hannah Grace. She's keeping pace with the uh, women's champ, with the former women's champion. Oh, kicking it to the side. Oh, what right hand. Jeez. Rattling his teeth. Forearm there, right to the face. Oh, Futurism too, on man. Too close to the ropes there. Did that see an experience? Definitely uh, coming into play there. I, I didn't I'm not gonna lie, right there I didn't even see the um so I can't really blame her too much, but at the same time, gotta feel be aware of these things if you want to be a uh, champion here in JCPW. Yes, I've seen out the Zara looking like she might be taking control. Commentators curse again. Ooh. Every time we do it, every time we do it, it goes wrong. It does, honestly. It's like uh, I swear to God, these people hear us and then they decide, no, nah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get back into this right here. Oh wait, since I have locked in some type of rear naked choke, and Lazara has got nowhere to go. Lazara, cranking back. Is this gonna be enough to keep? There's the power. That is the power Lazara does have. Rolls through. Oh, she should have. That was a mistake right there by Lazara. She should have held that down. Tried to get the pin, but Lazara. Oh, there is vintage. Indeed. Is that going to be enough? Is Hannah Grace going to ascension? Two. 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 Three. She... Oh, my God. She yes, did it. she is. She did it. She beat a former women's champion. That's incredible. Is this... Is this the sign of something big? A few nights ago, she beat Alina Valentina and Carrie. Now she's beating a former women's champion. Oh my goodness! This, we could be seeing our next, our next women's ascension to gold winner right here. Would you say? Is that an upset? Would you say I was an upset? Definitely, that's an upset. That, that's, like I put this woman under fire myself because I, I, I got tired of like her. Not being able to reach that brass ring, but this was the moment right here. Quite the upset victory over Lazara. There we have it. Our first woman to qualify for Ascension to gold. Great, that's a huge win. Well, major win, major win. But right now, we're so we're we're only getting started here, folks. You know, just. Keep sit, keep skating, get those drinks in and everything, you know?
Tom Doyle, the contention, the gold qualifier. Tom Doyle, NXW. If you like hardcore and out of this world shit, go check them out. It definitely is worth going to check out there. A lot of superstars there, but we're going to move on to our next men's match now for this qualifications. And we have the former vacant stroke crown jewel champion Richie Rich Rose. I'm not going to lie, I have low expectations for this poor guy ahead of this match. I know, he has got a tough task ahead of him. Uh, yeah, like, uh, we saw we saw how he got destroyed by Bullet James Black, and then, you know, that's got to do something to his ego. And now getting, losing this match to uh, now, now he's getting kind of faced off against Plum, he's giving much bigger guys a harder time, you know, uh, Rich. Rich, you got, you got a high, high mountain to climb. Definitely, he's got, and obviously, and, and Finkel Goldman's not going to be happy either. Justine Lazara, she's obviously, she just lost her match, so she's no longer in dissension to gold. Um, yeah. You know, this is, this is the Freak Show's final chance. It really is, it really is. I mean, I guess there are still other opportunities for Lazara, uh, but at the same time, you know, to lose attention to gold, especially with a, with a, uh, and no disrespect to Anna Grace at all, but you know, Anna Grace, let's be honest, Anna Grace has not had the greatest history or the greatest win record here, so uh, that's definitely gotta do something to freak show no ego. Definitely is, and I don't, I know, I know, you, I know you, when I watch, when I watch Reality Beat Young commentary, you say every single time one of these, one of the members of the freak show come out, the atmosphere just changes in the room. Yeah, yeah, oh god, what the fuck was that? <laughs> no, 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 we don't want that. But there you see Finkel, Goldman, they're coming down with Crom. Yeah, just, just... Be I, I wish I could give this kid some advice right now, but I don't think there's a single thing you can do to win this match. Uh, I guess prayer, take up religion, hope God saves you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this, 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 this can. I think, I, I, you know, for a fact that Finkel has been in the ear of Crom, because obviously, that, let's be honest, that's the thing about the way the, way the freak show has got my one. You know, you've got Draven going to snow. He's just uh, got a path of destruction ahead of him at the moment. You know, you saw what he did to Trevor Osborne last episode, and then you've got obviously Zaccone and Mortis. You know. Possibly the, the number one contenders for the Titan Championship this year. And also just seen Lazara lose. And Krom has kind of been left in the back, so this is Krom's chance to say, hang on, Fink, I'm still here as well. Because let's, let's be honest, when Freak Show originally came, Krom was the original person that came. Yeah, Krom was originally the big man, but then Draven came around. And, uh, yeah. But I guess this is Krom's opportunity to show that he's still of use. And uh, I think definitely if he can beat Rich Rose, then uh, that'll get him some brownie points. And we could and as I said, this is the this is the power. Look at that Canadian backbreaker there. Just it looks like Rich Rose Rich just able to escape. escape. That. Uh, what's he got? Okay, lifting the big man up. What oh. a surprise! Oh. Right there. oh, oh, oh. Flying in with that giant elbow. Rich Rose not really trying to waste any time right now, trying to make sure. Oh no, you just angered the beast. Oh, that little STO there. You know, Rich Rose has just got. <laughs> Are you saying Rich Rose has he's, he's got the speed advantage? He's got to move, he's, just, he's got to use that speed. And there's a perfect example there. Beautiful bro kick there, the pump kick. Well, Rich Rose going at it with this monster of a man. Oh! Just like, what a neck breaker right there. A little bit interesting. Oh my god, he's just picking up the big man. Oh, he's done. He's done. Oh, this mission uncle. That's, that's his finisher. He said that out of nowhere. Oh, no. Way too early for that. Way too early to try and get the pin off that. Yeah, Rob, yeah, Crom would not just stand for that one. 
bomb though I have to say he's, he's doing a well job he's keeping Plum down on his feet he's keeping him down and out again the strength of this guy the surprising strength of Rich Rose oh just just say that just ball rushes in Cromley just ball rushes his opponent runs through the referee <laughs> just absolutely decimates could this be it is gonna be enough there's one two one. oh rich rose impressive there good resiliency oh i was really good that day oh this is the kick from gonna punish him for that oh what the hell oh god what a choke slam Oh god, and Rich is feeling the effect of that. I'm trying to crawl under the ropes, but oh wait, Northern Lights. Gotta say, Chrome is shorts. Chrome is uh, Krom is, he is it's on the back foot. Yeah, Chrome is having trouble. Terry Curse, God, Terry Curse. <laughs> there we go, but Rich. Oh my God, he hit it. Well, Jimmy, is that gonna be the complete shot? Is that gonna mean that Rich Rose? Maybe What's just he doing. They, no, they, you they got to some Rich. Right yeah, he's a mistake right here. You don't just wait for the big man to get to his feet, hit him while he's down. Oh, oh I can see why. You can see why he was waiting for him. Big Diddy T. There's this one, two. That, and you gotta be honest, we complained that, but Chrome wasn't ready for that. Chrome was not prepared for that, and he got caught out of nowhere. I can admit to that, I can admit to that. Seems so Crom still is on the back foot right now. Just in the arm of Crom. Oh, shot to the gut. Another shot to the gut. Another shot to the gut. And it seems so like Crom. Oh, nope, Rich has got him. Oh, back and forth between these two. Both of these men. Not trying to let each other get any offense. There's the power of Chrome, just slows the match down, sends Rich Rose to the outside. Now, you know, we we, no, we, we, no, we, we bag on Rich Rose, but he's been impressive. He's had the upper hand. He's been the enforcer in this match. Surprisingly, yeah, he yeah. has. Right now, he's still taking it to Chrome as we speak on the outside. Because I want to say this is a dangerous place for Chrome to be, for, uh, I get, to be fighting the guy like Chrome. Rich Rose trying to show him he's no pushover. And, oh, well, they're going to take it back in the ring. The yeah. decision don't want. Don't understand no. that. I was really expecting Krom to take it to the outside there, but I'm going to see how oh. it is. Krom is using that power, the short arm clothesline. Irish whip. Oh, that should be an uppercut reversal by Rich Rose. Oh, oh. We've got a bleeder! We still got to try and get that copyrighted and we still got to get that with a t-shirt. That, that's going to happen. I don't know, the point. VWU guys, the VWU guys. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. Rich Rose is going to go for that spin. Mission Oak will sit up. Mission Oak driver! Big move, that could be it. It's one. It's two. two. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh. Finkel Goldman has got to be pissed. Well, you've got that, but Freak Show, we're out of Ascension. Freak Show are out of Ascension to goals, out of both matches. Oh god, the only, I guess there still is the tag title match, but... Ugh, yikes, I, I gotta say, that's gotta be embarrassing for the Freak Show. To lose to Rich team. Rose. Well, the yeah. thing is, though, you know, he, Rich Rose was impressive. You know, yeah, we, I we mean, can I won't, bag him, we can... I, I bag on him a lot, but yeah, I, I'll admit, I'll openly admit, you did impress in this match. He was, he was the forefront of this match. And, oh, God, you know, he's celebrating right now. He's celebrating. One step closer to getting, to, be, to, to being a double champion. No, he's got one goal. He's one step closer to becoming maybe. A, 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 again, the thing is, oh, this is a perfect example of what this tournament is all about. You know, and a relative nobody has come in, beaten, in my opinion, was probably one of the favourites to win the whole thing, has knocked them out, and he, he's in line. For, he could be in line for a shot. I mean, that mm -hmm. is the the that, that is the, the the beauty of this 
this this tournament this is that's the beauty of ascension to gold it gives people like rich rose an opportunity to maybe become something it does it does indeed it gives uh, a lot of people an opportunity to become something but we're going to get into our next match uh, i think we'll be going uh, back to the women stop. And uh, here's one that you you personally favorite, Alina yeah, I, Yes, I, I, I don't know. There's just something about. I've got a, a bit like obviously, like I've been back, I'm backstage a lot nowadays. You know, we're, we're taking care of a lot of business. We've got a lot of things coming up in the in the works and all that. So I'm backstage talking out. But I've not. I, I speak to the rest. Of them. I'm, I've known Alina. This is about the third, fourth year that I've known Alina Valentina. You know, and this Selena, this. Phoenix, I think since the changeover of being Phoenix Pro, she is focused. Admittedly, yes, she hasn't had the best start here in Phoenix, but there's a focus in Alina I've not seen before. And that is why I said, that's why I was, I'm, I'm kind of looking that this could be Alina's time. But it's, she's got a tough task. She's taking on a, a, a superstar who has gone toe to toe with former world champions, former women's champions. Indeed, indeed. Uh, like, how do I say this? Like, uh, I definitely think that she's shown capabilities, but I don't know. Here she is. Here's Carrie, who recently has been Alina Valentina. Uh, my loser was like the second episode, actually. Uh, Carrie hit the Carrie Blaster and ended up beating Alina Valentina. Uh, so, and not to mention, Carrie also was the runner-up for the uh, Gold Rush tournament. So, I think that Carrie probably... I think Carrie's probably who I'm going for in this match. It could be, yeah, but, be but like I did say, I know, I, I, I've been speaking to the superstar, I spoke with Alina, and um, she told me to look out for something. I, I don't know what, because um, obviously we know we, we know Alina to try and win some uh, matches via submission, that beautiful cross face, but doesn't seem to get the job done. So all she said was just watch for something. Well, she said it in Russian, but I think she said watch out for something. So I'm intrigued to see yeah, what you Alina to has classes, lined up. Buddy. You should probably take Russian classes to understand what you're saying, buddy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right now she's currently choking out Carrie. Giving the good offense straight out of the bat. Right now, Carrie is kind of on the ropes, but well, quite literally, while well, I said. And now, oh, showing a little bit of technicality with uh, throws and holds. But oh, Carrie firing back some of that psychotic, unhinged uh, offense right there, going down on Alina with those right. Psycho. Just call herself Psycho Bunny. Boom. You know, with the DDT. DDT. As you see, it's like Carrie. Now, this is what you talk about. Carrie seems to have, well, it seems to have that upper hand. You know, Lena had his spot. It's one. Not quite ready there. But uh oh. Here we go. Alina. Oh, Alina was up to her feet. But Carrie just drops her back down. Out. Alina was laying right back on her back. Uh, Alina, uh, that roll one. through. Oh, nice. Rock so holds with the roll through. Ooh, right now, Carrie rolls to the outside. Oh, a little bit of mind games from Carrie right there. In and out, in and out, in and out. The <laughs> game of cat and mouse here. As Alina stays on the outside. Oh, Carrie hello. now come in. Step up, Enziguri there. What an Enzi. And there we go, the crowd seems to be in high favor of Carrie right now. I think Carrie, Carrie's, uh, Carrie's kind of coming from a, a, a little fan favorite. A little bit of a fan favorite here. Oh, I don't know, but would, 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 would Damien be happy with that? No, no, no. I mean, like, hey, I guess, uh, I mean, the thing about Damien, like, I guess with the way Damien's just gone about things isn't quite his, everyone's favorite. That sweet leg sweep. I mean, yeah, with a move that like that, see the leg sweep, the way she uh, sways herself around. Not to mention there are a lot of things in the wrestling. So, oh whoop! See doozle. Just look at that. Like, who would not love to see something like that? Definitely, 
Courtney is using that speed here, but it looks like Alina. And there's this crack, the cross face. Look at the angle that she had. The, the angle on that cross face is something to, to you know, it's something beautiful to look at. I mean, yep. she puts so much pressure on that lower back and the neck for that move. Yep, and right now it seems as so. though Gary going for a submission of her own, but nope, it seems as though Alina. Oh, is that was in What the hell was that? Threw in elbow first at Gary. One, two. What? The, uh, that is something. Maybe that's what. Okay. Maybe that's what she meant. That was the thing maybe she was telling us to watch out. Maybe that's what she's talking about. She was us to watch out for that elbow. Okay. I've never. Like yeah, I've never seen a, a little bit of a going for a little bit of a shoot style. That uh, flying, flying with that elbow right there. A little bit of that wild elbow. Oh, boom! Butt wrench. Suplex right there. Dropping Kiri on her back. Twisting the gun back. Cross back. And look at the angle cranking back. Oh, she's done it! Whoa! I told you! I told you! Yikes, man. That was rocked a lot. I just, just watching that submission made me uncomfortable. That's, that elbow strike, I mean... I'll speak to it, but like I said, that's, I've not seen Alina ever use a move like that. Yeah, she, yeah she's uh, normally dumb for a technical game, but I guess she's going trying to go for a more shoot style, uh, using strikes a little bit more. Wow, I, I mean, hey, I'm happy for her. She, uh, she's been looking for, you know, she's been here for a while. She's been trying to uh, find her place, and you know, if she can win this inch of gold, I think she'll be a step closer. Yeah, uh, reaching the top of the mountain. Could be. Well, well done to Alina. Second person qualifying. So, so far we've got Tom Doyle and Rich Rose in the men's competition. And for the women's, we have Hannah Grace and Alina Valentina. But I think we may well be taking a quick short break. We'll be back right after this. Go and check out Lionheart Wrestling LHW, one of our newest, one of our new associations here. And they are associated with XGWL, and they've come along and helped us out as well. And um, Jason, great night so far. Great, great shock matches, shock victories as well so far. Yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. But we are now moving on to that next one, and we saw Hannah Grace earlier. So we're going to see her trainer. And her partner, we're going to see Vincent Lawrence. Now, you've again, you, you, you've not been the biggest fan of Vincent Lawrence, but you know he hasn't had the best of starts. I mean, he hasn't had the best of careers here in JCW in Phoenix Pro. Uh, I mean, it's not that I don't like the guy. It's just that I pity the guy. The guy who's been here. Uh, for a while, he's training people, but yet he can't seem to get it off his own feet, get off the uh, his own feet. You know, he can't reach that mountain top either. So you know, um, it's a thing where I, I want him to be more successful, but he's he's letting me down, man. You definitely again, a visible these things, or if anything, if, 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 his, if anything to, to go, if you go with that, how is so far it's gone tonight? 
this could be his chance. I mean, you know, we had the shock defeat of um, Hannah Grace beating Lazara. You know, we had Crom, Rich, Rich Rose beating Crom. Um, Alina Vantia beating Carrie. Um, I mean, if, 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 if this is the chance, if, if, if there's a time, this is the time for Vince Hearts. Yeah, but he's got a task ahead of him. Uh, I mean, I don't know, we have some shots here. Uh, I counted out Rich Rose, I counted out Hannah Grace. Uh, they managed to get the win, they managed to get the victory, so as a result, you know, this could be his moment. This could be his uh, but he will be taking on uh, Mr. Moonsault himself, Mr. Sebastian Boulay. Now, again, and this is an, a, 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 a homegrown talent here in, Jason, in Phoenix Pro. And um, let's be honest, the, the, some, I haven't seen Sebastian Boulay maybe pull off that double moonsault off top of the ladder. I mean, that's a spec. In itself, both su both superstars haven't really flourished, yeah. but both superstars have, have definitely got the talent and got the ability to be something here in Phoenix Pro. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Hilarious! Oh wait, hold up! Oh Jesus Christ! Vincent Lawrence is on a pathway, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, goodness, oh. like Vincent Lawrence is. Oh wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Vincent Lawrence looks to be setting something up, twisting him down, and putting him for a power grip. Maybe just trying to tire out the opponent. I mean, you know, you, you tire out you tie out Boulay, but this guy has got stamina for dingies. Oh, both men going oh, super kicks there. Oh, both of them had the same idea. As in, that drops him out. Big spine buster there. Okay. And what? Oh, no, not enough. Punch the face. Pushes him so into the corner. Yeah. Trading strikes here, but there's the speed. Oh, look, there's the speed of Boulay. That is what I mean. I mean, this guy can just pull out a, mo a move like that out of nowhere. But Vincent Lawrence not hanging around. Falls with a big form of zone. And just driving Boulay's skull into the mat. Oh, kick to the guard. Oh, okay, I... Whoa! Uh, Vincent Lawrence. I mean, Sebastian Boulay just said, fuck your shit to Vincent Lawrence. Just got right back up after that. And, oh, went for a super kick. But Vincent Lawrence moves out the way. Punch. Oh, wait, chop. Oh, punch oh, back. There it is. Ooh. There he catches it. Obviously, for those oh. who are new to Phoenix Pro here, we do have a 20 count on the outside. So these guys... Can stay out for, you for a lot longer, cause a lot more damage. Now that is the uniqueness we have here in Phoenix Pro. We are ahead of the game. At this point, we're, we're beyond our time. Yeah, a little bit. And oh wait, look at the strength of Boulay. That's a thing. Boulay, you normally focus on the guy uh, in his like agility. You don't focus on his strength. But uh, he's good. He's good. He's he's got cool. He has got strength to him. He has got these. You know, again, like I said, you can't be constant on the agility of the superstar, and um, you know he's got. He's, he's, there's, there's a little bit of strength there, but look at. So it goes for a super kick. It gets caught. Bullet Glove takes out the knee. Oh, what we're we gonna see from 
Mbule. Oh, this is going to be spectacular no matter what. Here we go, my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful. You guys the best in Mbule. Oh, wait. Oh, Lawrence. Fighting back a little bit. Uh, it seems the audience like that. That spaceman plancher there. Oh, wait. Just uh, here's the thing, Vincent Lawrence and Wu Wei. I, this is this is a shaping up to be a little bit better of a match than I was expecting. I thought these two, if that was gonna be either one sided in Sebastian Wu Wei or somehow Lawrence was gonna fluke out the victory, but I'm seeing the beginning. My money's worth right now. Definitely is, as you see a reversal there, and this is what Wu Wei. This is what Lawrence is known for. Into a nice little sharp shoot. Has that. that is that a sharpshoot or is that a scorpion death lock? Well, they're both the same thing. That boy there with a short, short deeds. Oh, this is where, this is where we're gonna get to see the spectacular work we can see from Boule. We gotta see that double moon salt. Oh, Phoenix splash, but Lawrence gets the knees up. Oh, we've got a bleeder. Just, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. This is, uh, this is incredible right now. Just seeing these two, the two, eight, two guys. You know, you don't really brush off, but that just shows you the apex of this show. It shows you the talent that we have locked here in Phoenix Pro. You know, you, you never know what you're gonna get until you, you have it right there. Yeah, now let's see now. Oh, again, we got another game of cat and mouse. We saw this in the earlier match. Oh, look at the Boule there. Nice European uppercut. And, uh, the, oh, look at this. Te Whoa, Tequila Sunrise. You don't that see this from Boule. Great. Kicking him off. Throw him under. Nope. Oh, again, once again, just using that, uh, I, I think that's a neck break, that just jumping neck breaker right there. Corkscrew neck breaker, I think we call that one, a corkscrew neck breaker, corkscrew neck from what breaker. I've seen. Okay, yeah, corkscrew neck breaker. And uh, right now, Boule. Oh, what a drop kick, what a drop kick. Oh, wait, oh, it's like, up. Do we dare say it, Vincent Lawrence in control right now. I mean, like I said, you, you, you're quite surprised. Oh, wait, oh. Really, I thought really he was gonna, I thought, match. I thought Vincent Lawrence was gonna dive right there for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're so, gonna see dives from Vincent Lawrence. He likes to keep his feet firmly on the ground and his opponents as well. Oh, <laughs> but Boulay again. Fuck yo shit, I ain't gonna kick out of that one. So we're both trying to find some kind of reason. Oh, what the hell was that? I died though I do. What do you call that right there? Vincent uh, Lawrence there with a vintage there. Taking a little move out mm -hmm. of his partner's, partner's books there. And again, it is another like corkscrew yeah. neck breaker. Thank you. Uh, oh, decapitator! Absolutely snaps the net to. Oh, that was close. That was the closest we've had so far in this match. Mm -hmm. Definitely a high point for this match right now. Oh my God! Here could be the end. Last chance to look at that and a cranking back on that. But look at oh, Boule knowing the date that Boule knew the danger was in there and immediately breaks the hold. Yeah, indeed, Boule. I think that is quite Whoa! That could be it. it. Oh, it is! Yep, that's it. I knew it. I had a feeling that this was going to be a wrap. Uh, 
I, I, I mean, think that was like that was a that was a, that was a, that was a very good match, but uh, uh, it's shocking that the back that uh, Vincent was in there as long as he was. Uh, definitely a lot of back and forth, but very good stuff. Great match there as Boule does advance to the Ascension Cup match, but. The thing I, I'm gonna I'm gonna back you up on something here. I mean that was a that was a surfboard a surfboard driver like a, a very basic move and that was enough to keep Boulay down and to keep sorry to keep Vincent Lawrence down. I mean has Vincent Lawrence lost a step? I I think he uh, I think it's been the uh, uh, I think it's been the uh, Lost a step. I think this man just needs to go out to find something different right now. He's he's lost his way, man. He's lost his way. Well, Bula, fingers crossed. Vincent Norris can find his way. But Boulay does. Hey, let me go. Speaking of that, we might see that double moon sort of top of the ladder. But we are going to move on to our next women's qualifying match. This has got me excited for Ascension already. Like seeing the competitors we've got in this Ascension to go, match made me excited already. Yeah, we're pretty much same here. Uh, I'm still waiting for our mystery entrance to come on out, give us some, give us a show. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there we have Emma Zander coming down to the ring with her brother William Zander. Now, you talk about uphill battles. Emma Zander has won a hell of a knuckle battle on this one. I, uh, yeah, definitely agree. Uh, oh, Emma Zander, wait, she's not, I like a lot, she's never been someone who has spoken to me. Um, I don't see much in her, don't see much that uh, she had, can't accomplish with this wide variety of opponents around you. She's, He's definitely not on my favorite list, I'm not going Well, and again, there's another superstar that really only had any kind of show in, in the Heartbreaker tournament. And then, again, we didn't see after Heartbreaker, and then Phoenix Pro comes around, and here they are. But that is the, the, that is the joy of this new brand, of this new look, of this new idea. Oh, whoa, wasn't expected. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've got epilepsy, we do apologize. <laughs> we did not realize there'd be flashing lights and like that. Right. Oh, uh, uh, guess new entry. Well, I think, I maybe mean, thought, we thought JC Wolf and Mercedes were the only ones about entrance videos. It's really bad. Amy <laughs> wants to get in on that as well. Now, let's be honest, I, I, I think I said this uh, on, on Phoenix Pro Plus. Although Alina was kind of like a, 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 a contender, Bad Amy's got to be the favourite going into this. Not into this match, but you know, if she is to win this match, she's got to be the favourite going into the actual tournament, to the actual Ascension Gold match. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I guess with this being said, uh, Bad Amy, wonderful superstar, uh, definitely has a strong, uh, definitely has a strong following in and out of DC, uh, about Phoenix Pro actually. Uh, I think she definitely has a key talent. Could definitely get the, uh, could definitely get the victory, and I think a lot of people would be happy to see her in the effect of the goal now, especially as the winner. Well, definitely, I mean, you know, Bad Amy has held championships across multiple companies. Uh, you know, companies that I've been I've been associated with and companies that I've not been associated with. And uh, I think as far as I'm aware, she's actually set up her own company as well. Um, or she's involved in something of that route along with with Kevin. Um, I just checked Kevin her Twitter Kevin, account. Kevin. Kevin, 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 Elvin, again, I'm too scared to ask him. Yeah, he's one of them. Uh, maybe we should get like one of the uh, backstage guys and like, feed him, feed him to Kevin. Yeah, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll get some of the other guys to maybe ask. But again.
Like you did say, uh, as LOL did, had a, a mountain to climb. Emma Zander has a huge mountain to climb here, taking on a multi-time world champ, women's champion. Let's so see if Emma can do it. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Looks like bad Amy with a strong start. Kick. As and good. And this is the power. Look at the power of bad. Just help holding up. But Emma Zander realizing she could be in a lot of trouble. Sling blade. Kick. Nope. Kick misses. Got. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing about Amazon. Like, uh, oh Christ! <laughs> I don't even have enough time to talk about her because you're already getting destroyed by that Amy. My God. Oh, kick the back nice just, <laughs> just, just This is destruction. This is destruction. I, I feel bad. I feel like I'm just set up someone for manslaughter, but. Uh, it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. It is. It was random. It's like all these matches were random selections. We didn't know who was facing who. Oh, maybe with a short end. Brain buster there. Looks like Bad Amy. Bad Amy's in full control of this one. Again with that full Nelson into like a knee to the back. Emma. <laughs> Oh wait, Emma might be finding something. Irish whip. Back fist. Alright, there we go. Come on. See what you can do, Emma. Oh, pounding on the back. Bad Amy. Oh, a bit of power for oh, Dominator there from Emma Zander. But look at this. That's the experience of Bad Amy. Only gets the one count there. Rap. Could have ended that match there very quickly. Look at oh! 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 Emma Zander there. I can't okay, say I'm surprised by that right there. Uh, I guess, you know, her brother is pretty big himself, so I guess she's taking some lessons in powerhouse moves. Emma Zander lining something up, looks like she's going to go some for something big. Could Emma Zander get a big shot victory here? What's the... Oh! What the hell was What's that? What the hell was that? What was that? No, oh, catches the leg again. Boom! Double shot. Double one shot. Emma Zander putting up one help. Maybe again, Emma Zander realizing what is at stake here. As you've seen, how bad Amy done up some momentum. Pele kick there from bad Amy. Is that going to be enough? Oh, that Pele is one. There's two. Again, not enough to keep down Emma Zander. I think we may have lost Jason. Are they still around there, Jason? I'm still here. I'm still here. Yeah, I just got taking on some uh, other responsibilities on focusing on this match as well. I'm okay. right, well, I keep an eye on this one while you sort out what I need to sort out. As you see, it, Emma Zander now seems to be in control of this. Now, what's Emma Zander going for here? Buckle bomb! Oh, oh, Buckle Bomb, the move that almost ended Sting's career. That's out Michael Logan. Okay, here we go. Oh, another Dominator. That could be it right there. That was a good setup, too. I'm going to start that. Yeah. Just not enough for me. I don't think maybe... Did, I'm, from what I'm seeing, I think Bad Amy might have underestimated Emma Zander here. Because now, whoa, <laughs> she just turned her inside out with that. Jesus Christ. That's just death right there. And Bad Amy. Oh, the destroy Amy. Oh! I thought she was going to tombstone her. And just 
like that. Bad Amy picks up yet again another victory. But I gotta give it to Emma Zanderlis. She put up one hell of a fight. Green Beck did put up one hell of a fight. Uh, so at least that was a more impressive fight than I have. Uh, uh, that was more impressive than what I was going to fight her before. She, uh, she, did, she did the damn thing. She did the damn thing. Big look. Bad Amy makes it through. She is the third competitor in the women's ascension to gold. And we have one more match. And I know. Oh, that Jason Titus is excited about our mystery and especially for this women's match, for this women's ascension gold. But they have Bad Amy picking up the win. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Bad Amy. Definitely a favorite for the ascension to gold match. <laughs> Man, so far, but it has been a great night so far. And we still got. So much to go as so we got still a few more matches left to get up to left left for the quite We're gonna take a break, we'll be back right after this. And we are back and go and check out. Jason, we have had a fantastic start to these qualifying matches, but it just gets even better from this point on because we've still got a few more matches to go. Yep, those matches would include are still our uh, mystery uh, opponents. And right now we're going away with another qualifying match. Right, it's gonna to be. We saw. I don't know, other half partner. I don't know what kind of association Bad Amy does have with Kevin, but we will see Kevin in. This could be a good year. This could be a good season for Kevin. I mean, he's come out of nowhere. There's some faction members, they're former tag team champions here. They definitely want to get back on the bandwagon for those titles. But, I mean, this... No, although we've got the, we have got the, you know, we have got that mystery entrant. Kevin is like the unknown, because this... Especially here in JCPW and Phoenix Pro. Yeah, yeah, uh, Kevin, uh, as you say, he, uh, he has... Uh, I would think while well, he hasn't technically held uh, gold, he, he's been associated with champions that have been your team of weird. Uh, I think the ascension to gold is kind of fitting for him to kind of thrive in chaos and uh, chaotic surroundings. Uh, he's kind of that controlled nature within a uh, world of chaos. He's an enigma. He's an enigma, isn't he? It's, 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 it's an enigma. 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 I can't even say the word. Uh, yeah, enigma. Igna Ignomatic? That's the one, that's something like that. But yeah, he's got a... And I think he's got a pretty... He's got a decent opponent, but I think right now he can get this uh, matchup as well. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I'd say, I think I'd like, I'll... ...to his opponent who he's facing, but... You know, the, is his opponent ready to step up to this level? Andres, he's had some great matches here. He's taken on some big superstars, but is 
he ready for a superstar like Kevin? Is he? Is he ready for that? Uh, uh, I'm not quite sure. I mean. As we see, Ace Andreas, uh, a pretty good kid. He's beaten, he's beaten world champions before, former world champions before. But I don't know. He he can't. Ever since he uh won those matches, you know, he hasn't done anything really. He's been kind of a yeah. one and done type guy. I mean, say, I mean, he's not, he's, he's not, he's, he's not been outstanding as such. Yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's a like, one. A one hit one here, that's what it's called. A one hit one here. Let's see if he can get himself another hit on this one. But this is like I said, this is gonna be tough and I see bad Amy on that side. She's already qualified, so as the bell rings, Ooh. we are straight into it. Oh and code red. Not wasting any Okay, well. From good. Anders goes to the pin is oh. I'm just trying to make. Was that a wise man dress? Trying to pin make end this match early? Uh, yeah, definitely. You don't want to spin in the ring and get Kevin for super long. You want to try to end as quick as you can, get whatever. Oh, unexpected things you can do. Oh, quickly rolling out the way. Like right now, Kevin fighting yes, back. Yes, misses that flying knee. Oh, big bro kick there. Pump kick there, one. What took his head off? I think I think Ace Anders got to look for his teeth in the in the, in the back row at the end at the end of his match. Yeah, it did. And oh, right now Ace Anders just on top of Kevin. Kevin retreating to the outside. Up, oh, popping back in, but Ace Andreas catches him. Irish whip, just in the arm. Oh, oh that's, like I said, that's the experience that Kevin does have. You know, although he's not he's not renowned. Oh, what is that? That's a little fan. Don't even. <laughs> I don't even did any damage, but you know, he stood on. But as he goes in on that pin, is no, no, that was a, a, a weird one. But let's be honest, I, I'm not going to question this guy's strategy. Well, this guy's all. Uh, that's not out. Oh, as he has him, Kevin is just able to drop the knee and another one. Yep. He's he's favoring those kicks right now. Indeed, indeed. Right now, oh, standing over top of him. What's he doing? All right. Did, did, he, did he just? Whoa! Slamming him down. That's the mouth. the arm. Oh! Slamming him down again. Ace Andre is trying to keep paces with Kevin, but Kevin does not seem to be that amused with Ace Andre's strategy. Oh, sh short distance. Paul Brain Buster, Rashad Renegade delivers a beautiful bust Brain Buster, but that is a lovely one as well. You just can't, you just can't brace yourself for it. Oh, now he's just stomping down, choking out uh, Ace on the um, corner, and oh! oh! Okay, was not expecting Easy. that. Easy! Right? One. one, two... Yeah. What is, what if Ace Andres is to win this? What has he got to do? Oh, not that. <laughs> well, yeah, not get hit with that seven-star lariat. But I guess well, right there, right there. Uses high-flying offense. Uh, utilize the ropes as much as possible. Uh, utilize his speed. Uh, so I guess he's utilizing his strength right there. But no one draw, but he just sat back up. He just said, "Fuck your shit, dude." Oh, 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 nice, almost like discus. Has him oh. on the oh. shoulders. Good night. Bro, bro to sleep. Okay. What you going for here? Oh. TKO. And that's it. TKO. One, two, three. Oh, I, I, Ace Andres. Oh, Winston Moonsault there. Yeah, seems as though Kevin, Kevin still seems to be in control despite Ace Andres' resilience. 
seems as though Ace Andreas might just fall asleep to this unique submission. Nope, Ace rolls him off. Ace Andreas. Oh. Go, oh, kick to the back. Andreas dropping the elbow down on his opponent. He needs to keep the pace up. He needs to go attack after attack after attack. He's got to keep his... Oh, that's what he's got to do. He's got to be pace. He's got to use that pace. He's got to be attack after attack. Oh, no. God. Off balance. It seems like it. Oh, wait. Kevin. Oh, I think Kevin was about to taunt right there. Trying to show a little bit. What's going on here? Is he fucking Thor? Oh. Did he just pay extra pipe? <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh. Look at the special effects of our crew working on here. Fucking Thor or some has shit? He, has he visited Jam? Is, 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 is he... 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 Is Tornado DDT! Tornado DDT! And the audience are liking it as you can hear from the audience. In this uh, action here. Seems as though. Oh! Went for that backhand again, but. Oh! Ursa Andreas catches him, but again, Kevin just says, no, fuck your shit, kid. Kevin just seems to be. Giving none to the offense of Ace Andreas. Oh, went for that backhand again. But Ace Andreas manages to duck, but can't duck that. There's that very unique cranking back. I mean, no, Jason. What does the uh, the way Kevin has that hold? Like, what extra pressure does that have? Uh, it's the way in which you know he has with, the, with the uh, tighter grip. Yeah. He has the uh, tighter. Oh. Out. Yeah, I, get, uh, I barely had enough time to speak about it, but you know, the way he had it with position uh, with uh, his hand behind his back, you know, it gave a lot more pressure on the against the throat. But Ace Andreas tried to hit that elbow, and oh, well, went for some type of cutter. Oh wait, got Into an arm the... bar in. An arm bar, an arm bar, but no. Good, is it? I want, I want, I want to try to get the. Oh, drop kick misses. Kevin is here. No! Okay. Kevin cannot find any offense to keep Ace Andreas off his feet. This is about to pick up. Look, look this has him on the shoulder again. We're going to see that. There's that knee into the German. Yikes. And Enough for no, doesn't like Kevin does not look like he's finished. Oh! There, shining whiskers. What an envy. Here we go. This might just be it. That could be it, ladies and gentlemen. One, two. Oh, no, no, no. Ace Andreas. Give him his due, Kevin. Fighting. Give him his due. Ace. Exactly. He's got some fight left and give him his due. But Ace is but. This could be bittersweet. Has him up on the shoulders. There is a TKO. TKO. That's it. We catch a thousand. Enough. There's one. There's two. Oh, what? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The resilience of this kid. Keeping up. So this is Ace Andres. I mean, this is the strength Kevin does have. Drops him down the power bomb. Goes picking him up yet again. Backhand. The combinations, the strikes of Kevin. Kevin, Kevin. Oh, went for a. Might have been like some type of high angle back kick, but. Oh! Oh no, and that Larry again! Oh, turning Ace Andreas. That seven star Larry. Turning Ace Andreas inside out, and it looks like he might get. Yeah, again, we're going to hit that. Turned again. Oh! That's it. That's it. What? One, two, and that's it. Oh, uh, what? No! Ace, what is Ace Andres thinking? Ace Andres is on a whole nother level tonight. He clearly wants to give something. He wants to be someone bigger 
than what he is right now. But oh, Kevin was trying to put a close to this kid's momentum. But oh, maybe going for that TKO again. But Kev, but Andrea says no. Oh, takes a world backbreaker. Floyd. Oh, that's one, two. Kevin again is just on a whole nother level. Oh, this level right now. This is this is again. I have to agree with this is this is a side of Kevin of Ace I've not seen. I mean, he really wants that spot. What ascension to gold could do for his career? Yeah, indeed, indeed. And here he goes for that DDT again. And up, boom, down against that floor. Maybe now he should just go for the pin, take him inside the ring and pin him. But no. Wanted to put some more damage on him, and that might yeah, cost him. not having any of that. Oh, twisting the legs. What a moonsault on the outside, but you cannot pin your opponent on the outside. You gotta get him in the ring. Get him in the ring, Ace. Get him in the ring. Tossing him back in, finally. What's he gotta do? What's he gonna do now? Oh, but Kevin... Again, Kevin, Kevin not looking around. Inverted again, Kevin. Just again, back up. Kevin just gets straight back to his feet. I mean, I, I, I got a bit of in. I thought you'll see it again. Then there's, there's just aura about Kevin when he's in the ring. Oh, look at that. I oh, just tosses him. Lucky the ropes today could have tossed him out of the ring. Here he goes. He's gonna go to the outside. Oh. Knocked down to the outside of the ring. It was like Kevin might be on edge right now. The ace is feeling it. The bad Amy watches on. So far, no interference from Bad Amy. It has been all Kevin, all Ace. Again, there's that beautiful pump kick he's using that game. Everything on each other, but they just seem to get straight back up. Oh, yeah. this, is this, this is what Ace Andres has to do that Tilton well. Head scissors there, and now Ace Andres looking. Let's go! Could we see an upset? I mean, we could. I, I was counting this kid out. I was counting this kid out. Looks like Kevin, though, is in trouble. I thought Kevin was going to have this match in the bag, but mm. Ace O! We've got a blitter! This one, two, again, not enough to keep. See that shot to the maybe to the nose there. We got see, can't quite see where the cut is, and there's that flying knee strike. You've been trying to hit that all the outside. This, uh, this, I mean, I'm surprised at this match. Well, this has been very back and forth right now, Amy. He's trying to cheer on Kevin on the outside, but seems like Kevin is in trouble. He can see the corner. At Ace, toss him out. Now he's gonna go for a high, uh, high uh, risk maneuver, but two. Oh, Kevin getting back up. Look at this absolute monster. Oh, that flying knee again. That flying knee once again. Strike oh. is gonna go. This is gonna be the TKO. He's gonna go for that TKO one more time. This will have to be. This is about the fourth TKO in this match. Oh, there's no way Ace is kicking out of that one. Was the pin? There's one. There's two. There is three. Fourth time he's is yep. on. But. Ace Andre. He does there. What a fight he put up. Yep, definitely. Ace Andre, I have to say, I, I'm impressed here. I'm impressed. I mean, like, you know, me, and, <laughs> me and Jason were, you know, guilty to write him off, but he showed that, you know, he can handle it. Exactly. 
this elbow could be the end of it, but it wasn't enough. Well, it looks like Kevin will be moving on to the Ascension to go match. You can see a bad Amy as she claps on, cheering on her, whatever relationship they have with each other. Exactly. We, we'll, we'll, but when one of us get the, when when, when we we'll speak to somebody backstage to have a chat, you know, uh, somebody to uh, a, a co-host or something or uh, a backstage reporter. I think Charlie Caruso might be up. Oh really? Okay. Hmm. Caruso alert. <laughs> It's the UK, it's a, it's a UK job. But anyways, we are going. And I think we are going on now, if I remember right, I think we are going to our mystery entrance. Mystery entrance, woo! Coming out first. Isabella Robson, now Jason, I know you're excited about this. Well, uh, not only am I excited about the mystery opponent, but Isabella Robson, you know, I really have been wanting her to get back on the horse. You know, she just hasn't been feeling like a former women's champion. She's just been here, you know, kind of a placeholder. And uh, I'm excited to see if she can uh, test out the best of her. You know, if she can uh, put up the best, put up uh, a fight against the best. No, she wants of to get back on that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. She, she, she wants to get back on that. Back. Sure. I mean, she, when she had that title, she was a great champion as well. She defended it regularly. You know what? It was unfortunate that she did lose that one. But and who she lost it to? Listen to this one. So here we go. This is a person very dear to my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Amber Bloodshed. She's a close personal friend of mine from a show called Royal Wrestling Revolt. I mean, no, no, hey, we got Royal Revolt Wrestling, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, she is a, she is what we call the vixen of pro wrestling. She's highly talented, highly technical uh, in her ability in ring. And I feel like Isabella Robertson is the perfect opponent for her to start out again. Because, you know, they both got that kind of rough feel to each other, that rock star kind of rough and tough uh, exterior. And, uh, I feel so what like can we expect to see from Amber Bloodshed? Like, what can we expect to see from it? Uh, you know, just technical, just technical ability. Uh, a little bit of high flying here and there, but I, in wait, wait till she actually competes. You'll see what you can expect. And here we go. But here we go. Oh, kick to the leg! Jesus Christ, Isabella Isabel Robinson always like, takes out the leg. Right into this. Jesus Christ, they can see that aggression from Isabella. And Amber, whoa, Amber, answering with some aggression of her own, stop it down on, on Isabella. And oh my god, these two going back and forth with each other. The head throws across. Goes in the thing, but again, only with the one count there. Bit early to. Well, wait for a kick. You gotta think about oh. Isabella Robson has been a. Well, the thing is, though, Jason, you got, Isabella has been a staple here. I said a little complete shot there. Damn. Complete and no, her up. A, a, a new person. Oh wait, whoa! Hurricane Rana! Jesus Christ, she doesn't normally move like that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and Isabelle is used to overpowering her opponents, but oh, here comes a little bit of overpowering herself from Amber Bloodshed. Amber Bloodshed, I want to let you all know, do not toy with her. She is, she is a, yeah, this woman right here, she doesn't just fight with girls, she fought, has fought with men. And as we can see, she's about to take flight. Look at this from the side of the oh! Don't you? You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Amber Bloodshed picking up her opponent. Oh, chop to the chest. Oh, <laughs> that flaps the hand out the way. Oh, tosses her. Oh, Isabel right? drives her into the steel steps there. Whoop. Oh, into the barricade! Yikes, Jesus Christ! Wait, wait. Isabella, oh, tosses her into the barricade again. Oh, right. These women are just jamming each other into the barricade. That's gotta hurt. Definitely has to feel uncomfortable. Exactly. Again, that is mad. 
L3, and again that padding is probably probably about as much padding on that barricade as there is on the side of the ring, Jason. Mm -hmm. Oh, slamming her down. It, oh, a little bit of a flip action right there, showing some agility by Amber. All right, <laughs> top. Nothing but solid steel right there. He's first. Back inside the ring. This has been a very physical, very aggressive bout. And it's about to get even more aggressive. Oh, oh is she hit all that ammo off the... This could be a good ammo bloodshed. Could this be the Nate Medivia? One, two. Oh, 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 very close. Ooh. Very close there. Bella showing some showing some ability of her own. Away. Shot to the back. Amber just trying to wear down her opponent, but it does not work. And oh, Isabella tosses her into the corner. Isabella is on a whole new tear as she chops her right in the chest. Here we go. Oh wait. Out of the ring yet again. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh no, this is not the same thing. Woo! And Blake has no drop kick. They slide. But they, but Blake guess if Blake does get involved, Isabella will. Win. Yeah, he will lose. But Blake had no she choice but to just stand there. Does. Blake had no choice but to just stand there and watch his girl get kicked right in the face. But right now, Isabella is recovered greatly. Taking a fight right to Amber. And right now she rolls back into the ring. Picking Amber up. And is this going to... Oh, nope. Amber fighting back. Oh, yeah. trying to tip her down. But <laughs> looks like she ate a boot on the way down. Amber is fighting back. Ate a boot on the way through there. Again, we're going to the outside. Go, I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm not, when you mentioned about me bringing her in, I, I was, I was, because I, I'd never heard of Amber Blanche, um, Amber Bloodshed, but she's impressed me so. Yeah, yeah, she definitely has not. women's champion in the future. Oh, but just as I say that, is a better big kick to the midsection there. Grabs him. Oh wait, and Isabella Robert. What's this? Oh no. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> A rope aided shot. Jesus Christ. Oh, wait. Amber catches the leg. The strength of Amber Bloodshed. Oh, my God. Beautiful German suplex here with the leg captured as well. Amber, is that Amber? Could... Going in for. Oh, look at this armbar. Look at the crack on the armbar. The mission expertise of Amber no, Bloodshed. No. And she made her tap. And she made her tap. Oh my god. <sighs> that's the. Uh, that's that's G, 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 uh, sorry, Jeff. Now, there was no work done to the arm during that whole match. But yeah. what? How did. How did that. I mean, how, how did, did that arm bar. Exactly, as I said, she's a submission expert. Uh, don't forget a better angle. Yeah, that's as I said, she's a submission expert, dude. Like, she is, uh, she, she, she's great. I mean, almost like expertise. And there you go, Amber Bloodshed. That essentially goal. I, I won't, I, you know what, I'm gonna have another look at that, but I think that was the, the arm bar, there was, a, 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 there was a, an extra twist on that. I think there was, although pulling back, there's almost a twist on the show, onto the show. But we're gonna take a break, we'll be back after this.
We are back, XGWL. So we are, Jason, we are moving into our next match and our qualifiers. And it is um, Extreme Tony taking on the mystery entrant. Now, this was. This one. Uh, as I said, and uh, here's the thing I'm all for DK4, I'm all for Extreme Tony. I appreciate this man. He's a, uh, accordingly a legend of the business. And, uh, you know, I, I do feel like he uh, does deserve a lot of respect for what he does to uh, help out other people, but he, this is going to be a match he's going to need to work for through and through. Uh, I'm not going to deny it, Eric Norman. He, he, the cards are kind of stacked against him right now. Uh, I know his opponent. His opponent is an absolute monster in this business. And uh, once you all see him, you so will like, know. No, we say that. This guy is a literally a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, ladies and gentlemen, you will see just why I'm a little bit worried heading into this match. Uh, I'm sorry to Tony. Um, you are just getting the bad card, but sadly. Luck of the draw. Sadly, that bad luck of the draw. But um, here we go. We're going to show him his opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, and the, he is the. That is Virgil Snow, ladies and gentlemen. As I mean, you all may know him. F A M. You start team unite. J A M. R O V. A former R O V. Universal champion. This and also as well, and also just because that's coming up as well. He has a really big match at, at Jams at Jams yeah. Unleashed KB as well. I mean, this guy literally is a god. Literally, and quite in the quite the sense, uh, he's kind of come up with uh, many monikers: God of Destruction, Ultra Instinct. Uh, this man is definitely dangerous. And Tony has the deck stacked against him, as I said. Will Virgil, but the question is, will Tony, could Tony pull out the victory? Tony has beaten uh, their other famous uh, people in this business. Taylor Taylor, for one. But now we got an absolute monster, this absolute beast of a man. Fearful, ladies and gentlemen. I've got to be, gotta be honest. When exactly what you're about to witness, ladies and gentlemen, is history making. And I've got to be honest. I was excited when I was excited, but we're gonna get straight into it. Here we go. Extreme Tony, Virgil Snow. Oh, oh, Tony. oh! Clobber's back. That's exactly what Tony needs to do in this match. Tony needs to hit as much heavy offense, whatever he can do, to damage this big man. Because let me tell you this, once Virgil Snow gets going, he will not stop. So you have to put as much offense, put as heavy of an offense on Virgil Snow as possible. The, the extreme Tony, I was saying, like that extreme Tony is he's known for, he's a heavy hit, he's an old school, so he doesn't mind throwing a punch. Strength, just in one move, the complexion of his match has changed. Look at extreme Tony coming back. Virgil going on to him and uh, oh god within that one move Extreme Tony is forced to retreat to the outside right now he's trying to fight as best as he can get some offense in right now these two are just brawling on the outside just brawling with each other just strikes back and forth strikes back and forth mm -hmm. and so Virgil has come out on top of that exchange <laughs> oh and for a giant clothesline. Whoa! Tony tried running into him. Seems though that did not work. Elbow to the face. And Tony. Yeah, this is has been do. Extreme Tony's put up a fight. Extreme Tony's put up a fight. I think he realizes the extent of who he's actually facing. Uh, now you can Tony is no it. slouch. He knows. He, he knows his way around this. He knows his way around this industry. And there's no doubt in my mind that he is here. To this uh, he's here. 
Oh my god, just look at the stare down, that, that brief stare down that happened before they went right back into it. You can kind of see that they both uh, are quite aware of the absolute, uh, at the absolute mass that's against the, that they're against in this match. And it seems as though that street Tony, oh god, just got juke down. Power again. Oh my god, they're at the count of 13, they haven't even paid attention to the count of that. Right now, they're just out here destroying each other. Finally, Virgil is the one to initiate them getting back inside. And right now, Extreme Tony is on his face. Oh no. Oh, Frostbite. Frostbite, no, wait. Extreme Tony fighting out. Extreme Tony. It's Judas effective. Is that going to be enough for one? It's two. Maybe not this time. Is that what it's gonna take, Jason? Is that what is is a one single move? Is that what is that what it's gonna take to keep down a superstar? Like, He's different. Have you seen his match with uh with it called Deshaun Walton? It, it takes like a billion moves to keep that guy down. Like uh, I'm gonna say if if Tony manages to get the win here. I'm gonna call it an upset. I'm sorry. If Tony does manage to get the win, it, it's an upset. A as legendary as he is, a a as, you know, historic. Oh! What the fuck? Did he just slap Virgil Snow? <laughs> <laughs> he just slapped Virgil Snow! In bullet clip, the BK4 is definitely. Well, I think BK4 is definitely rubbing off on Extreme Tony because he would not usually do that. I, I'm gonna let you know this. I, I, I'm an, as a member of BK4, I Again, don't condone these that. Guys. I don't condone that. I, I have no part of this. Uh, Virgil, don't come to me after this. All right? Yeah, that, that's all Tony right there. Don't worry, we, don't worry, Jason. Don't worry, we're contracted. In, in, in everyone's contract, they can't touch us. We can say what we want. I mean, we stars. We, the only time you've ever got your hands on Taylor Taylor was in an actual match, but they can't actually do anything else to us, so you're okay. So you can see. I'm just saying. The I'm video, just saying, so he knows exactly what he said. I know this guy. He, 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 he'll let contracts be damned if he has to. He does. Uh, he doesn't quite take. Oh God! Oh, oh boom! Overhead bent very onto the steel steps. Did you see his neck collide against the steps? Uh, well, we've got to keep on this count again. 15. They are keep, they are going to the maximum count there. At the 16. 17. Oh, oh, come man. on, guys. What? Come on. 18. 19. Oh my God, no. Whoa, whoa, no, no. Oh my god, you're at a draw, ladies and gentlemen. Not Jake, right. So, sorry, I am gonna make an announcement right now. There is. No, 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 no. wait up, wait up. We are ending, not ending this match as a draw. A There's draw. no way this match ends the draw. To win up, so, we're we gonna restart this match, match right away. To draw. So, referee, get those two back. We're gonna in the restart ring, the match. Let's restart the match right now. Uh, and right now back into the ring and Virgil going again getting back the key offense and he seems as though he's taking advantage of Tony right away but Tony fighting back a little bit clobbering him in the midsections right there oh uh, sorry about that uh, sorry about that Jason had to go and sort that there was about that right now he's going for the pin one nope screen Tony is not able to get the victory off of that one. But it seems a Virgil. Oh! Virgil went for a punch, but it did not work. Headbutt by Virgil, though. Belly to belly. It's been the yet. epitome of a heavyweight battle right now. I mean, these two are going back and forth. Big move after big move after big move. No way, what's this? No, 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 no! no! Oh! God, the strength of Extreme Tony to lift Virgil up into the air. Oh, God. The only thing protecting uh, Tony right there was the fucking uh, 
jacket that he's wearing right now, that bulletproof vest. He's done that flat jacket he's got. As you see, Extreme Tony now trying to... Whoa. Trent. What the hell was that? But right now, it seems as though Virgil is still going to power out. And right now, he's striking. Just striking. Oh, my God. The pace. The way he just shook that. I almost saw a tooth fly out. Right, Tony. Bite oh, back. The dream Tony is not done there. Sauce over the top. You're going to see onto that top. He's going to follow up with. Very oh. often. Oh. Extreme Tony with a double axe handle. What? One. Oh. One? Really? A one count? Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh god, oh wait for that choke slam, but Tony slapped it out the way. I mean, J uh, Jason, let's be honest, we, we kind of had Virgil down to win this one, but Extreme Tony yet again showing he's got some... Let's see, Virgil now goes a big clothesline, goes in for... Not enough to keep down Extreme Tony right now. So we see both suits. X there from Extreme Tony. But as I was saying, Jason, I mean, I'm I'm surprised. Oh. Big burning hammer. As him up on the shoulders, this could be it. Burning hammer! Extreme Tony's gone through. Extreme Tony's done it. Resiliency of Virgil Snow. The extreme Tony so with the gut wrench. Extreme Tony now seems to have a little bit of full control. We might have just lost Jason briefly. Has him up. And there's the power of Virgil Snow just slamming his opponent through the mat. Again on the outside of these guys got to be counted. They've already been counted out once. So as the match carries on going, and there's a the able to escape the we... And again going for that another burn have but no just drops him down with a shot treatment. There's one, two, again not down. As we see Extreme Tony now going for the guest court. Overhead bait by Suplex there by Virgil Snow. In for the pin. Is that going to be enough again? It's one, it's two. Going back and forth on all these pins and everything. Really good match so far. That is about what we're going to see it there. Virgil Snow has won so many matches with that frostbite. Is that going to be enough? It goes in. It's one, two. Snow has done it. Virgil Snow qualifies for the Ascension to Gold match. Congratulations to Virgil Snow. But again, Extreme Tony they put up a tremendous fight. We off that burning hammer, but it wasn't enough as Virgil Snow was just able to get that shoulder up. But it was. Treatment. Extreme Tony, they put up one hell of a fight, but just wasn't enough. That picks up the victory there from Virgil Snow. And uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So we have all. Ascension to goals. Don't forget that will be coming up for you at around the 10th of April, and it's going to be one. We've got the women's ascension and we've got the men's ascension to goals, and the winner of those matches will get a shot 
at the world at any time they want. Ladies and gentlemen, we have had a fantastic show. We've had a fantastic evening. And they, but that's not a problem. He will be back for the next episode. But I had to come on. I had to come on commentary for this one. But for my well, for the next episode. Good night, everybody.